that's going to be a little bit hard to sync because, quite frankly, I don't really have any buttons that, that I wanted to push, but whatever. Um, I did a little bit of thinking. I'm uh, not really sure how much people will actually like this, but again, whatever. It's how I roll. Um, so I've just I'm decided that I'm going to actually change this uh, series kind of setup. Instead of naming it, say, Let's Play Star Trek Online, I'm going to say Let's MMO and then Star Trek Online after that. So uh, this is basically just going to be a giant, huge series of me playing a few videos of a bunch of different MMOs that you guys recommend, preferably one that either has a trial or a free MMO, because I'm not going to uh, buy an MMO for two videos or whatever depending on how much length of time I get out of it. I've been doing this one for like 120 hours or something like that, most of it being AFK, to be honest. Um, but this time, this video, I'm going to do a bit of uh, my Klingon level 50 carrier um, set up here. This guy is pretty pimped out. He's, he's nowhere near uh, maxed out. That would still take quite a bit of time to maximize him, but... He's got all Mark 10 uh, anti-proton lasers, he's got some Borg equipment, he's got a Klingon Honor Guard shield. He's pretty darn decked out. Um, and in this video, it's uh, going to probably just be me doing an STF. Uh, normal STF, no elite STF. Uh, and to be honest, that very well might be the end of this series, or this game in this series, I should say. That was a little weird there. Uh, until maybe season six, because quite frankly, there's not a lot going on for the game at this moment. It's fun, I'll admit that. I played, put a bunch of time into it and whatnot, but, uh, let me just do that and try and situate myself. Um, it's a good game, it's fun, but, I mean, the missions are, for all intents and purposes, repetitive. I showed you that one mission. I think I showed you a mission anyway. Uh, I showed the stream a mission, at least. I recorded a mission and then lost the footage because I wasn't actually recording because my hard drive was full. Uh, that was my own derping, but if I haven't shown you a mission, well, it's essentially this. You go in space combat, you blow up, you blow up some spaceships, and then you uh, beam down to the planet, you do some ground combat, you kill some dudes with lasers, and then you beam back up into space, and you do some space combat, and then that's the end of the mission. That's usually how basically 90% of the missions go. Um, I'm going to do my, complete all of my freaking massive list of things here from my duty officers. Look at all that sweet loot, some heavy turrets and stuff, always good times. But anyway, uh, this is my set out, and I'll show you this character, his freaking giant list of loot he's got in his freaking inventory here. Anyway, here's my character, you can see he's, he's got some sweet loot, he's got a Jim Hadar personal shield, he's got this Jim Hadar armor... He's got a really nice uh, tactical kit here, which is sweet uh, anti-Borg weapon, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, anti-Borg weapon there. And then this is my carrier, the IKS Nalcora, a Volkov carrier. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm just going to assume it's like that. Um, I'm actually going to throw some additional turrets in here. Let's not do that one. Let's do this one, shall we? 12 of those, sure, why not, let's put some more in there, yeah, there we go, sure, whatever. I've also got a bunch of other stuff, Klingon Honor Guard Engine, Omega Force Shield, these are all STF uh, loot, basically, so basically what I'm going to show you, you get these for loot. I've got some uh, assimilated modules, assimilated equipment, subwarp engines, and stuff like that, but anyway, let's go ahead and queue up for an STF here, so I can show you that. Uh, I guess we're going to do... I hate Cure. Let's let's do Infected here and see if it will actually go well. I'm not going to do an Elite one with random players in the, in the queue like this. I would only do Elite with a predetermined team that I know is going to do it properly and actually listen to directions and stuff like that. Because Elite basically requires that you do it a certain way, otherwise you're going to be taking a whole lot of time faffing about doing it the wrong way. So here we go. Infected Space Normal. We lost contact with Starbase 82. There are more than 200 people on that Starbase. I want to know what happened. So battle the Borg around it and the Siberian system, blah, 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 blah. We're going to engage. These are five-man missions. They, re they require you to have five men because it won't start otherwise. 
uh, five players, not five men. You can have five women if you want to. I don't really care. But whatever. Here's an STF. Here's my horribly butchered uh, thing here because I'm running at a weird resolution. Again, sorry for that. Me being a car carrier, I have the ability to launch aircraft, so I have these birds of prey that I can launch. One of them's a better bird of prey than the other one, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump into combat here. Pop that, pop that, do that. I'm not going to really explain my skills terribly much or what I'm doing because it's all going to happen very quickly in STFs. You kind of have to do it right or you get horribly butchered. Uh, my setup does really quite well against Borg. I'm basically set up for killing Borg. The problem is I'm right next to this cube. That might be a problem. The thing I have with carriers is they're great and all. And I just got blown up there. I'm not blown up. I got horribly damaged. But uh, they tend to lose their their fighters or their ships or whatever they're sending out fairly often. This is a Borg effect or an effect from my Borg equipment. Uh, boosts up my shields quite a bit. It's pretty sweet. Um, let me just tell them to attack into this worldly direction. That is the Federation carrier, by the way. The Caden carrier, Cation carrier, I don't remember. The Kitty carrier. That's what everyone else calls it. And you can see I have a Borg equipment set up on my ship because you can see all this assimilated looking modules poking around my ship like that thing in the front. Glorious little device, but I need to stop screwing around because this is serious business and it looks like they are doing it wrong, which is great. It is possible to completely ignore this guy up here, but uh, I usually don't kill him first so he's not messing with you, but they've already screwed it up, so that's a good start. For this mission, uh, what you want to do, there's a 10% rule, so if someone in chat says 10% rule, please follow the 10% rule. Uh, what you want to do is all these nanite generators around this uh, transformer here, you want to get them all to 10% and then kill them all as quickly as possible. Uh, as well, yeah, so they're all dead basically at the same time. On normal, you don't have nearly as much trouble with doing it wrong. On elite, if you do it wrong, you're basically screwed. Uh, unless you're set up basically perfectly for this mission. So everyone, say, has a gravity well. So everyone can fire off gravity wells and uh, rapidly do that. I'm just going to greed that. And apparently we're just going to do this wrong entirely, so whatever. Someone's over there in the middle handling all the nanite stuff that comes out. Nanite for Borgs, by the way, will heal whatever it's attached to, so all these tr all these nanite generators are attached to this transformer, so you cannot kill the transformer until the generators are dead. And the transformer is attached to the gateway there, so you cannot kill the gateway until these transformers are dead. And that guy's having some serious trouble there, isn't he? Now you'll note there's commands over here. All carriers come with both of these sets of commands. These are your uh, escort commands or whatever, carrier commands. So attack, escort, intercept, and recall. Uh, on the bottom here, carriers also come with these. These are target uh, skills, so target weapons, target subsystems, etc., etc., etc. Pretty good, pretty good weapon or uh, skills to have. They don't always work terribly well. But uh, it does drain power, so for Borg, for instance, you could do target auxiliary subsystems, because Borg really like their auxiliary power, for whatever reason. I'm not sure why, but taking their auxiliary power basically makes them useless, for whatever reason. Uh, this is not terribly good. Let me see if I can spin around here. Oh, it looks like they got it. Never mind. I was going to spin around, and actually I'm going to have to anyway, aren't I? Fire off. Oh, no, we got it anyway, regardless. I'm fire off my gravity well to make sure they didn't get any closer than that, because just one of them getting into range of uh, that transformer will buff it all the way back up, essentially. You, you really can't out-DPS uh, these nanite spheres or nanite probes or whatever. They're healing. It's essentially, for all intents and purposes, uh, impossible. I'm sure you could out-DPS them, but... In public games like this, it's you don't really even want to try. So I want to get away from this place. I want to get away from this gate, mostly. Ten kilometers away. And... We're good. So I can uh, try and full impulse over to that one. You have an optional here. I may as well read it. Read the optional objective info while I fly around. You have 15 minutes to complete all objectives. The optional objective will fail if the timer expires, or if any Borg reinforcements that come through the gateway heal a transformer at any point during the mission. Uh, you get bonus loot. I'm not sure why he's shooting the gateway. You get bonus loot if you. Uh, that's split between all party members. I'm not sure why I did that. It's a waste of a skill there. 
But uh, bonus stuff that's split between everyone, so a need or greed thing comes up when the loot's picked up. Uh, otherwise, you get a single loot bag uh, for each party member, so those are uh, given to just the person that actually got the loot. So there's four loot bags at the end, and each person, or five, sorry, and each person gets their own, and then the bonus is split between everyone. If you get what I'm saying, you know. I'm just going to go ahead and blow off my beam, fire at will, or whatever. So here's anti-proton, by the way. The bonus for anti-proton is bonus critical damage and bonus critical chance, I'm pretty sure, or something like that. So that's pretty good. I quite like it anyway. Let's go ahead and set my dudes back onto attack so they stop faffing about like tards. You always gotta gotta keep an eye on your uh, your dudes that are flying around, and I'm gonna blow that one up like a boss. There we go. That time it was me doing it wrong. Go me. I wasn't paying attention there. I'm not actually, we're actually not doing terribly bad. Uh, we may fail this optional objective if we're not careful here, because uh, actually someone blew one up before me, so it doesn't matter. When you blow up the first nanite generator, those uh, nanite probes and whatnot will begin coming in from the warp gateway. So not really a threat, because we've got our Cation car carrier over there handling it with his buddy. That carrier, kind of overpowered, to be honest. Uh, just my opinion there. It's probably not really overpowered, but the stalker fighters that it gets on it seem a little bit broken. Uh, I've not tried anything other than this, but I have some serious interest in getting the Garumba Destroyer, or whatever it's called. That, in my opinion, might be pretty cool. Um, I'm going to go help this guy out with a rift over there. That will cause a tractor effect, so it'll keep all of them tractored into that spot back there. I'm going to continue pummeling this thing, hopefully. It should be dead soon, we should be good. And we're good, yeah. Thankfully, I threw out a gravity well, otherwise that probably would have got closer. If you're a carrier, you should probably have gravity well. That's basically how that works. If, if you're a cruiser, again, you should probably also have gravity well, just so you know. That's a tactical cube. Tactical cubes on normal are easy. Heck, everything normal is easy, so whatever spawn two more of those just in case. I like to spawn them relatively often just because I'm afraid they die all the time, but whatever. I'm actually going to throw down a Tykan's Rift here, which is something new I got because apparently it works really well on Borg. I'm still outfitting my uh, setup here to optimize everything. I can't spin fast enough. There we go. That does a power drain, just so you know. So it will slowly drain his power, and something is screwing up my shields pretty bad here. By the way, that little green thing that keeps popping up is a tractor beam. Uh, I have a skill down here in the bottom that actually makes me immune to tractor beams, so it doesn't really matter. And you can see just how well this setup I have here actually stays alive. Uh, I used to have a lot of issues. You can, in fact, uh, I think I did an STF on the stream at some point where I actually had quite a bit of issues. Let me just pop that just because I can. Actually staying alive, I'm taking some hefty damage here, but you know what I have that I'm not even going to use because I'm under no threat whatsoever of dying? I still have my uh, reverse shield polarity skill over there, which will actually convert damage I receive into shield hit points, which I usually burn when I get to about 25% hull points. At this point, I'm under really no stress whatsoever. It might seem that I was getting pretty close there, but I wasn't. The one thing I do wish is that uh, this Tykan's Rift didn't have the same cooldown as the Gravity Well, but they are basically the same skill, so whatever. That's, that's I guess that's what you get with this kind of stuff, but whatever. I can deal with it. Tactical Cubes, by the way, uh, if it's your first time seeing a Tactical Cube, and it's not an STF, for instance, you're doing those random uh, emergency alert encounter kind of things, I would recommend staying away from the tactical cubes because they are actually pretty powerful. As you can see, we have five people pummeling this thing. And this is the normal difficulty tactical cube, by the way. This is, by no stretch of the imagination, the difficult version of it, so don't need to worry about that. Uh, but as you can see, they have a ton of hit points. They have some decent damage output potential. Uh, they usually have more uh, bonuses on them right now. They don't have anything for whatever reason. Usually they'll have beam fire at will basically on all the time stuff like that. 
Um, but we win! All of my birds of prey and stuff are going to die. We got the bonus objective, so you can see down there, there's the bonus objective. Someone already picked up. I don't need that, don't need that, and don't need that. We didn't get anything good from that bonus loot, and there's a giant list of stuff that popped up. So there you go. There's an STF. I'm going to actually... I might show another one. You know what? I will show another one. I will not show a ground STF because I do not like the ground combat. I do not like fighting Borg on the ground because it's obnoxious. Uh, Borg on the ground, by the way, if you're not familiar with Borg, they will actually uh, become immune to weapon fire of a specific type. That's uh, I can't remember quite what it's called. Um, but whatever. They become immune to a damage type, and they can become immune to every single damage type in the game. Uh, and you have to use an item, it's right here, uh, Frequency Remodulation, Borg ad Adaptation, that's I guess what it is. Um, or I think there's a skill or something that can do it quickly, or some sort of uh, STF loot that can do it quickly. Regardless, you have to remodulate your weapons, uh, otherwise you'll be doing one damage per hit, it's obnoxious, you have to do it constantly. I really don't like ground combat, so I essentially avoid it like the plague. So I'm going to actually show the vault shuttle events going on, which is interesting, but whatever. Um, I'm not in a shuttle, I have no interest in doing the shuttle event, but the shuttle event is apparently a really, really good way of actually getting some some decent loot. You can see a bajillion people doing the shuttle event there. Events are really good ways to get experience and or loot and or have some fun. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and jump in the Kittimer Accord Space Normal, and uh, that should be starting here shortly. STFs have basically no wait time. I think the longest I had to wait was maybe a minute, which I know sounds excruciatingly long, but you don't even have to have this queue up. I mean, I can close that queue, wander around, do some shopping or whatever. Um, for the Klingon, these two people are where you get your STF loot and her, Commander Roxy over there. For the Federation, it's these two people here, the Mako people and her. Commander Roxy is shared between the two, just so you know. Um, but you can see STF space equipment, STF ground equipment, ton of stuff. I have Mark uh, 10 equipment, Mark 11 equipment is slightly better, as you might imagine, and then Mark 12 equipment is again slightly better. Uh, most people tend to stop at Mark 11 weapons and then Mark 12 uh, unique stuff. For instance, say a Mark 12 one of these here shields, the Klingon Honor Guard. I have a Mark 11 Klingon Honor Guard shield, which is probably the best I'm ever going to get for those, but whatever. Um, and we got two of these. Great. Fantastic. I have a golden lockbox, by the way. These lockboxes require that you pay to open them. I have a golden one somewhere. I think it's in my bank over on the other opposite side of the station. I'm not sure why they even put it on the opposite side of the station, but there are reports of Borg ships massing in the Quadra Sigma system. A large Borg fleet is trouble we don't need. Could mean that Borg are attempting to open a temporal anomaly. Good news. I want them to stop before they can do anything that will damage the timeline. So this one has a uh, mission failure condition. So if it happens, you completely fail the mission. And it is 10 dudes pass through that gateway over there, 10 Borgs, I guess. Uh, if you want to read that, you can pause, I suppose. I'm not going to, because stuff needs to be done. And we're off. So again, start off tactical cube, kill the cube, etc., etc. Lots of things to kill, lasers to be had, it's all good times in the neighborhood over here. I really like the Tycan Drift, though. It basically neuters whatever you just shot it at, so... Good times all around. This dude should be dead relatively shortly. You can see tactical cubes, by the way, actually do have some pretty good uh, shields and whatnot that can hold them up. But, I mean, under this kind of fire, there's not a whole lot you can do. And probably everyone here has anti-Borg equipment, although it is normals, normal STFs, so I would not be surprised if people didn't. If you're going into a hard STF, though, or an elite STF, I should say, you should have your Borg set, or whatever set you're using, you should have your anti-Borg weapons, you should have all that stuff set up and ready to go, you should have your skills at least somewhat usefully optimized. I'm just sitting here stationary, by the way, which is not a good idea, just so you know, but I'm under no threat, so I'm just going to sit here like a tard. And I should set my dudes to recall, actually. I'm, those two that are over there are going to die, there's not a whole lot I can do about them, I'll just have to respawn them. But I want these two next to me so they don't get blown up. 
You can see they're about to die. Destroy the transwarp conduit. And they're dead. So the thing with this one is you have to actually have people defending both sides. I guess I'm going to be defending this one since no one else decided to take it up. He's defending that side, which is fine by me. And I'm going to defend this one, I suppose. You don't want the Borg reaching that. So they will come in from their gateway. They will try their best, their darndest, to get over here. I'm going to set them to attack just so they're doing something. I have a problem with this mission, and it's that the carrier's uh, pets really like to fly off into wherever they please, essentially. So they do whatever they want. But there you can see the uh, mission failure. The optional, I believe... I should have no trouble killing this guy just being stationary, but the option, I believe, is you must also stop all Borg ships from entering. You must defeat it in 15 minutes. This guy is going to die as you go under me. Yeah, not even worried. Probes are super easy to kill. It's when the, when the spheres start spawning that it becomes an issue. I'm going to go ahead and may as well start shooting those so I can speed this side's process, process up. That guy appears to be doing well. As long as I'm sitting at least somewhat in the path, at least I can fire on the uh, Borg that come out of the place, I should be fine. Should be under no real issue. I'm in fact going to go ahead and drop an anti-proton satellite there, just because I can, basically. I always like to check on the other side to make sure the other guy's doing alright. He's doing good, so. There comes some probes. There's a sphere, which is always good. Probably shouldn't have done that and spawned the sphere, but I should be fine. He's gonna, he should come straight to me, which is fine, as long as he doesn't go to the gate. It looks like he's actually going after my birds of prey over there. Which is, again, fine, sure, whatever, I don't care. But you can see the huge damage output I've got here. Which is pretty sweet, I must say. It's actually greatly more damage output than my cruiser has. And he's actually more damage focused than a carrier is. Two spheres spawned over there. Interesting. And I am flying backwards. Whatever, bro, whatever. I'm going to trigger both of those skills. Both of those should have a damage increase. Plus, it uh, reduces recharge timers. Yeah, that's actually not what I thought it was. But whatever, it's also good. I should burn that one more often, I guess. That guy's dead. And I'm going to blow my tractor beam on that one just to make sure he doesn't fly off and do something stupid. Just want him to stay next to me, basically. This uh, B here, this is beta formation. It actually decreases the target's resistance, so it's actually really good to use with beam fire at will, so you hit a bunch of targets, get stuff done. I don't need to throw my rift down, so I'm just going to sit here, power up, beam fire at will, and basically rape all of these probes. There you go. How to kill probes 101 with me. And dead. The other guy doing good? Yeah, he's fine. Not sure why they're faffing about shooting the gateway. I have basically in this mission zero control over my uh, pass, over my birds of prey. They just kind of fly around and do whatever the heck they want, basically. No idea why this mission is so bad. I think it's because the um, there's actually a probe there that might get kind of close. Is he gonna kill him? I don't know. If he lets one through, I'm gonna be greatly disappointed here. But I need to kill these guys right now, so we're going to keep an eye on it. He's good, okay. He is good. All of my probes should be dead here shortly. Because lol, beam fire at will, and beta formation is fantastic, I must say. Plus these anti-proton things are pretty sweet. So that's going to be dead soon. I'm going to go ahead and move up to the gateway here. And get ready to kill it. Yep, they... Trans Transformer should go down soon. This one doesn't have uh, nanite spheres that spawn. If it did, it would be obscenely difficult, let's be honest. It would be kind of impossibly difficult, to be honest. Going to save my my uh, gravity well here, because stuff's going to start spawning pretty heavily in here. Go ahead, pop that, pop that, do that. That's when I want to use my well, because they're all going to get pulled right there, and horribly butchered which is perfect. And then I'm going to immediately need to, as quickly as possible anyway, kill it. There we go. Get over to assist our friend over there, because he's going to start having some issues with uh, Borg spheres, theoretically anyway. Theoretically he will have issues with Borg spheres, we shall see. Go ahead and blow a bunch of my skills just to make sure I don't get 
screwed over by myself not paying attention to this side and watching over there. If you're doing defense, really, really, really watch both sides of the uh, the area. Don't just watch your own. Make sure the other side's not getting horribly butchered. I'm going to go ahead and start my way over here. We got freaking probes warping in, which is obnoxious. So a bunch of spheres are going to start spawning. You can see one right over there, which is not good by any stretch of the imagination. I'm going to fire it well just to get some free shots on them, but they should be killed by my teammates over there. And get over here as quickly as possible. Hopefully as quickly as possible. That guy right there, one of four, he's creative, named himself after Borg. Uh, actually went ahead and did full impulse to get over here, which is a good idea, to be honest. It's not it's not too bad of an idea. I'm going to actually see if I can fire off a gravity well on that sphere down there. There we go. Just to keep everything over here so we can handle them. The thing with that, and you got to be careful about it, is uh, you actually pull stuff that's in the back forward, but the the length of time that the gravity well lasts, it doesn't really matter all that much. Because in the end, you're going to end up just pulling them in there, doing a bunch of kinetic damage to them, and then ending up just lasering them to death anyway, so... There we go. Doing alright, we got this. We got this one in the bag, basically. Except I can't shoot the stuff in the back. So I'm going to be wasting a whole bunch of time shooting that transformer over there for no apparent reason. I can't select it. There we go. It's dead. Never mind. Now I can shoot something useful. Great. Go ahead and throw down another turret here, heavy anti-proton, just to help out extra DPS. If you have these deployables, use them. Um, to be honest, just if you're going to be stationary, for instance, this mission where I'm defending the gateway, go ahead and throw them out. They're going to add some d extra DPS. They last for a really long time. I don't remember how much, but uh, 300 seconds. Pretty darn, pretty darn long time. Uh, do I need to use my gravity well? No, I don't think so. Go ahead, burst that. Usually, even on this side, you're going to want someone dedicated slowing them down. So, for instance, me, like right now, now would be about a good time to throw out a gravity well. Drop it there, and suck everyone in. Good time to do that, I must say. Me. I also set up for... Uh, wow, I'm taking some hefty damage. Blow that. Set up with a tractor beam in case this gravity well doesn't last long enough to actually kill them. Which this one may not. We shall see. We should be good because everyone's here helping out, so the DPS should be way more than is needed, really. Um, probe's gonna die. Yep, yeah, there he goes. You can see the spawn rates are freaking huge by this point, so you really, you really gotta be careful because you can quickly screw it up. The amount of stuff that starts spawning here. I'm getting horribly butchered by this gateway and it's freaking laser beams of death here so I'm trying to back out of its range because it's killing me. Gateways have some decent damage output by the way. There we go. Out of range. Good. And I'm not even sure where my birds of prey are. There they are flying around doing things. My heavy proton turrets shooting it for no apparent reason. Sure thing buddy. Sure thing. Not sure why that guy used his skill there. It's completely and utterly useless because he's not being shot. But, whatever. Who might argue, once again, shooting that uselessly? Oh, they're back. Time to kill more probes. And everyone's focused on that, so this is where this is the point where it's potentially going to go horrifically badly. But we should be good. The one downside of oh, sweet, being able to tank so well is that... Uh, go ahead and blow that. I need to get over there at some point. There we go is that I don't have the skill, the ability to often use my KDF fleet support skill over there, which comes into play when I have below 50% hull points, which, as you may have noticed, doesn't happen terribly often. I'm going to go ahead and... This is... Freaking spheres are beating the crap out of me. Blow my Tykens Rift there, just to suck off power on some of these guys and slow them down, because that'll, that'll slow their engine power down, so they'll go a bit slower, which is good. I can, for the most part, solo hold a uh, side for a while, and then eventually just the sheer amount of stuff that spawns, like right now, eventually breaks my ability to hold it. So these guys are thankfully coming in to help. 
My shields have been zero for quite a while now, which is kind of bad. Saving my, uh... Trying to, anyway. Trying to save my... I'm having terrible issues thinking what this is. Tractor beam. And full shields is go, all of a sudden. Just because uh, these spheres often go for the player once they're shot, instead of actually going for the uh, transporter over there, so I don't really have to worry too much about them. Um, and this is going to hurt when they blow up. Oy. Can I get away from it, actually? Not really. I can get a little bit away from it. But there we are. We're left with just the gateway. So we can put some serious hurting on them. I like how this one of four guy didn't help at all with the stuff that was going back there, but whatever. He's getting pretty risky with his, his cockiness there. Anyway, we should be good. And I'm pretty sure my scorpion fighters died a really long time ago, but whatever. And that probe would swarm warp in at the very last possible possible second. They should fix the uh, death animation, I guess, for the warp area doohickers, the warp gates, because when they explode, they actually pop up in the air, which looks a little odd, just so you know. But we've got a tactical alert here, picking up some readings. Something's decloaking, scanning now. I speak for the Borg. Resistance is futile. So welcome to Dunatra. This is the boss-type encounter for this area, so I'm going to go ahead and blow a bunch of crap on it. What I like to do is uh, wait for him that look like he's a, I'm just going to need all that. Like he's about to decloak. He's freaking tractor beaming me like a douche. Or cloak, sorry, not decloak. And fire off a gravity well. That'll hold him in place while he's cloaked, which is pretty darn sweet. He should cloak here in a second. We've got a bunch of people using that uh, plasma ejection thing, so... And that hurt a little bit. Not too bad. And you can see the gravity well is still going, so he's uh, he's likely to still be in that area when he decloaks here. So we all basically know where he is at this point. Deploy another plasma turret, because I can. And we got our optional objective success, which is good. And the gravity well wore off, so he probably moved somewhere. And I can't see my speed indicator. I have no idea where it went, but whatever. Up oh, there he is. When he does this, be prepared to move because it hurts. And he did it way faster than I thought he would. As you may be able to tell, it hurts quite a bit. So I'm going to blow all of my abilities. It actually killed Zunu in one hit over there. He was next to the quantum mines, I bet. Probably killed some of my uh, birds of prey as well. Since I'm pretty sure there were a few next to me. But regardless, we should have this down pretty well. Especially since I can basically heal myself back up relatively quickly, in fact. Um, pop that. Can I get a gravity well off? Yes. He should be cloaking soon. In fact, there he goes. Except there's a gravity well, so it doesn't matter, bro. That's why I like gravity wells. You can try to tractor beam him when he does that, but I'm pretty sure the tractor beam will actually... Why'd that tractor probe spawn? Will uh, wear off when he cloaks, so you can't hold him there like that. But you can see he's still spawning tractor probes for whatever reason, but those work well, don't they? Every time he comes out of cloak, by the way, he will uh, pop his giant death laser beam of doom, which is going to hit me quite a bit, actually, here in a moment. Let's burst a few skills, pop that. Uh, I could pop my evasive maneuvers to get out of it, but yeah, I can tank that easily. Pop that. Tractor beam him in place so I can try and turn here with evasive maneuvers. I'm actually going to pop a Tyken's Rift this time. If I can freaking turn, Jesus Christ. This is the thing with carriers, is they can't turn worth a crap. Ah, there we go. It's not going to hold him in place, but it will drain his power a bit, so... Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Please stop doing that, good sir. Thank you. And cloaked. You can see he starts moving away there. But he's going to pop up probably somewhere over in that direction, because that's the way he was turning. And someone just got a Fringa Decorum Rotter Halton. I've, it's really weird how that stuff comes up in the language of the user's game that actually got it. So if the person's playing in the German version of this or something... Everyone else will actually see it pop up as German, which is a little odd, but whatever. Fire my mark, pop that, because this is going to hurt. And... Come on, there it goes. 
you can see though just how quickly my HP goes back up from that. So it's it's really not an issue at this point. Come on, turn. And gravity well. And turn back. And back to killing him. He takes a really long time to kill because he has so much shield power, but once his shields drop, uh, he goes down pretty quickly. And there he goes. Take items, don't want. And we got our optional objective, which I'm pretty sure someone already picked up, so... There we go. You can't see my loot, but it's over there. You get a ton of really good loot in this, uh, in STF, so you can see... Basically everything you pick up is rare or higher, for all intents and purposes. So there you go. There's STFs. There's my second video of this, uh, Star Trek Online. And let me know what you guys think of the Let's MMO thing, and if you have any... Um, recommendations for a free MMO or a trial based or an MMO with a trial I should say uh, that would be great so for instance Terra doesn't have a trial so unless you're gonna loan me your account I can't exactly make videos of it uh, if you want to loan me your account for something that doesn't have a trial though feel free I'm not going to steal your information you can have faith in me um, I'm on the intertubes trust the intertubes. No, that's not true. Don't trust the intertubes at all. You can trust me. I'm not going to do anything stupid. Uh, you've seen people lean, loan me, lean me, loan me their accounts in World of Tanks so I can show uh, videos of that. I'm not going to take your information. I'm not going to sell your accounts or change your passwords or whatever. If, excuse me, if you have recommendations for games, MMOs for me to do in this series, let me know. Uh, the next one on, on the list is, excuse me again, probably EVE Online, because I'm messing around with the new patch there. Um, we'll see about that. I have a trial account that I'm doing right now, I'll probably make a video of that, and then I will see if I can get the support team to reactivate my old account for EVE Online, then I could show you some of the late game kind of stuff uh, on that game, and then we'll move on to another one. But anyway, thanks for watching, I will see you guys next time.